the desire for women. Oh, 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 but, but you say, but he will have no desire for women. Well, listen, guys, you know, anybody, these people in power, they have to have the significant other. At least they, at least up until now, now that they're making it mainstream that they don't have to do that so they can all come out of the closet, you know, then they're changing that. But up to this point, you know, it had to be a man and a woman and still has to be a man and a woman according to the Bible. But, you know, according to culture, right? According to culture, to satisfy culture, they had to have this significant other. Now you can say, yeah, but he, he had this other significant other. Well, I mean, maybe she serves other purposes in his life, you know, other than just romantic ones. Um, But in any case, uh, it says Princess Princess Diana was regarded as one of the most desirable women in the world. At least that's what they're saying. Um, Yet Chucky stated publicly, I have no desire for her. Now, that's a quote. I. I don't know exactly where that's quoted from. I'm reading it from here. I did. I think I did try to look it up. I didn't find it right away, but uh, I'd love to hear if you find exactly when that was quoted. But supposedly he stated publicly, I have no desire for her. So it could have just been a public statement that he doesn't desire the woman he's married to. And not necessarily that, not necessarily that he doesn't desire women in, in total, but uh, also it could have been a thing of Camilla is in with whatever they're trying to do. And Diana was not in, she wasn't going along with that stuff, which seems to be the case as well. Um, and so she was a better fit for, you know, to go along with their agenda. Now, again, uh, his mom didn't necessarily like, uh, she didn't like Diana, right? But she didn't really like Camilla either. But but she, again, was kind of more, it seems like more maybe in the dark about, about some of these things. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much she was in the dark. I mean, she obviously... <clears throat> you know, was still being worshipped as an as an idol. So, I don't know exactly how it goes down for her. But in any case, in November two thousand three, Chucky was involved in a media scandal involving an alleged G A to the Y affair with his former personal assistant Michael Fawcett. Apparently, Chucky and Fawcett were observed by another royal household employee having an encounter with each other. This former royal servant, George Smith, a war veteran, left the employee of the royals after claiming to have been himself, uh, G.A. to the Y, that he was uh, abused by none other than Mr. Fawcett himself. Uh, Diana's former butler, Mr. Burrell, has repeatedly claimed that Diana had tape recorded a statement by Mr. Smith detailing this uh, accostment. Uh, When a British... Sunday newspaper tried to publish a 3,000 word story based on an account of the alleged incident between Chucky and Fawcett. Fawcett took out a court injunction blocking Smith from revealing what he had witnessed. On Tuesday, November 12, 2002, Chucky allegedly ordered an internal inquiry into Smith's allegations of, of abuse at the hands of Fawcett. However, police allegedly found insufficient evidence to press charges. Fawcett left Chucky's employee after another scandal involving selling royal gifts. So, I don't know if it's true or not. I'm just sharing it with you. I'm just letting you know. In terms of him having desire for women, uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's true. I'll, I'll just say that. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, would not surprise me at all if that is true. Um, sounds about right. But, you know, all those guys are involved in that kind of sin. It's almost part of the cult. It's part of the cult that they're in as well. So, um, so yeah. So, and he didn't obviously desire the woman he was married to. So there's an argument there. 